hi guys welcome back so today's video is actually going to, supposed to be on makala versus kj or kj versus makala but after like much thought and everything i decided that you know what this is going to be like a rant so not like a rant rant but i'm going to do like my thoughts on how that show has actually opened a lot of people's eyes to a lot of certain facts in this country so my name is ifwa please subscribe to my channel and then let me just get this off my chest so first of all makala versus kjtia is a show like it's a it's a comedy that first started like a style with videos the first time i saw it i saw it on whatsapp my sister showed me the videos on whatsapp and i was like wait and i found out that it was supposed to be like a stage play and after i think they finished staging the play they decided that it had so many likes shares people were commenting about it so they decided to do like a weekly show on youtube i don't know if it shows on tv because i don't have tv in my house so i wouldn't be able to know whether or not it shows on tv but it's on youtube and when i see the number of people watching the show on youtube it actually opened my eyes to the fact that Ghanaians actually want to see their own content on TV. I mean, enough with the Kunkumbagia, the Vera, with Zalinda, Esmeralda. What, meanwhile, all these shows are good and it's actually great to watch other people's shows. Sometimes when you watch your own homegrown shows, it actually, you know, it does a lot and it says a lot about what your interests are. Because I know on my, on my channel, I've shaded so many shows. I've done YOLO, I've done Coco Brown. And it's not for the fact that I hate the shows, it's for the fact that I think that the movie industry, the TV industry has the chance to grow. But because there's nothing to fill that vacuum, anytime something comes up that fills that vacuum, we just heal it without looking at the fact that it can be improved upon. So when I talk about all these shows, I talk about it for the fact that it can be improved upon. Because Makala vs KJTR is hilarious. Like, I'm not going to take anything away from that. The show is hilarious. Can it be improved? Of course it can be improved. I mean, looking at the numbers it does, I, I, I don't know which show in Ghana does those same numbers. Because even an African city doesn't do those numbers. Because the show, it, it, that's the thing. It's, in its simplicity, it excels. Put two lawyers, one who went to the Ghana law school and one who went to some law school like he says went to KJTL law school there's no KJTL law school he you no know, he fumbles with the English he says distant and this mind do you get it and when the first I saw it I was like this thing is going to be so huge and I was right you see this where content comes this where like creativity and content comes into play because if Ghanaians were not interested in seeing what it was about it wouldn't be so popular and it wouldn't gain so much acclaim for the fact that the lawyer in T who is like the not a lawyer when he won his first case it became a huge deal on social media it became a huge deal on the internet in Ghana on what news website the fact that he won his first case and this is an entertainment show and now this is this is what I don't understand about the television industry why do the producers have to pay and beg for the television stations to show their content and this is not like to show Ghanaian content because if I want to show my Ghanaian content I you know because I, I found that you have to know one person do links and do that but this is something that's grown in Ghana you see people have made so many protests about the foreign series the telenovelas and the other stuff I speak I speak a lot on foreign series and maybe it makes me hypocritical and for me to say this but my point is there are so many people doing film there are so many people doing short skits you know other stuff and we do, because we don't give them the support they when they blow up they kind of go back into obscurity because what happened to Janka town Janka town was huge like the people in it I, people were saying their expressions that is how huge it became but right now nobody let nobody hears about it anymore it's like it became a nine day wonder and then, then it just faded i don't i you see my problem or my fear is that that's the same thing that's going to happen to makala versus kj it's funny it's funny it's funny and then you are just going to make it slide into obscurity that shouldn't be the case you know it should gain momentum it should be improved it should be tweaked it should be tightened it should be made better because if this is not made better that will set the precedence for all other stuff that are going to come out now you know people have different different ideas different things and when you ask them why can't you do it is money it all comes down to funds it all comes down to what we are putting out there because if people are putting their stuff out there and then you're not supporting them they feel discouraged 
and Makalov and Skejita has actually shown that Ghanaians are actually very interested to seeing their own stuff on TV. So this is to the TV producers, this is to the TV station, this is to like whoever is in charge of making sure content and authentic Ghanaian content like content from Ghana actually shows on the screen. You guys can actually do a lot more because the same time you give to Vera and to Kunkun Bagia and to all the other stuff it can be given to other people to actually show what they can do because of course there are some Ghanaian series that are very horrible and I'm not going to mention some of them because if I do it will be sad but then there are some of them that they just bore you stiff but then there are others that are actually good you know the same way in which the music videos have grown to such an extent that right now if you watch a Ghanaian music video you are actually excited to see a Ghanaian music video. That's the same thing we should do to our series. So the fact that when you hear that, oh, this is a Ghana series, you should be like, oh, I really want to see what's that, what like what that's about. Because we talk about friends, we talk about insecure, we talk about flash, arrow, we talk about all these things. And they're not far off. We can create our own, but if we are not going to support the people that are going to create it, what's the point? I try as much as possible not to be my feelings about the movie industry because they'll be like oh what are you also doing to help i might not do a lot nobody might even listen to this this might be one of my lowest watched videos ever but my point is we should look at numbers we should look at because makala versus kjt right it's a huge show and it's a huge let must test to everybody in this country like it's a huge wake up call that you know what this can actually work and it is working because anytime there's a new video out within a day it has a hundred thousand views and within a week it goes to like three hundred thousand it might be a fluke we might just say that oh they are just doing something but my point is if they are just doing something what about the others and africa city is great but then i read an interview from her you know when i was talking about the fact that i wanted to see a season three so i was talking about the fact that if nobody's going to support her then what's she doing so you see this is going to be like my one-off video. I don't think I'm going to do this in a while, but Ghana, everybody in the creative industry, everybody in the movie and TV industry, we all have to set up, we all have to endeavor to make sure that we have a say in what goes out. Because when you see Tensel, when you see Jacob's Cross, when you watch Jennifer's Diary, when you watch Husbands of Lagos, when you watch all these shows that are coming out from Nigeria, it's it is the formula isn't great it's not something that we haven't seen before we can create it but the thing is we have to put our own stamp to what we do because if we don't do that we are just going to watch the industry just collapse and then the so that and then the new people that are going to come in they have to start all over so do we have to always build from scratch can't we just build from a point because the movie and some of the movies that are out there they are great adam the eve is great um uh, selfie was great john and john i had my issues but then it was great you know all these things they are all building up to a point but we shouldn't watch the other side of the industry just collapse and then the next people to come they are now going to build it over and then so it means that every generation has to build it over and over it's tiresome and it's not going to work so that's the thing so when i'm done i might not have made sense for however long this video is but my point is we can do better I'm always out for collaborations, do you get it? But at this point in my life, I feel like if I if I can't put something out that's genuine, I'm not going to do it. So that's I'm done for this video. Please be subscribed to my channel to watch me review other shows. Believe me, I'm mostly not this crazy. I'm mostly not this whatever. But I've been watching so many things. I've watched so many documentaries, so it makes me gone off. So I'm done for this video. My name is Ifa Labi. Please like this video subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos that are going to be up there so i've seen that there are a lot of new series and i'm curating them and then i'll do my year on a playlist so until my next video i'll see you